Joining us now, the former chief speechwriter for George W. Bush, he is Bill McGurn. Bill, it's always a pleasure having you on. Merry Christmas. So, Bill, what do you make of that story? The president is saying everything is fine when two-thirds of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, who are you going to believe, Joe Biden or your uh, grocery bill? Um, it's no great secret. You know, we had Jerome Powell basically saying we got a ways to go. Um, I don't think anyone except for Joe Biden is saying we've got a handle on it. And everything that people do, their day-to-day -day expenses, is getting um, more expensive and leaves them with less money left over at the end of the week. You know, it's sort of like they've got, they're have got they walking around with paper bags on their heads in D.C., in the White House. Borrowing costs, interest rates are quadrupling. Rates may not come down until 2024. That's a Fed survey. Average credit card rates hitting near 20 percent. But now this report coming in, the First Lady Jill Biden fully supports the president running again in 2024. And NBC is reporting President Biden is going to go all in on a strategy to make 2024 about Trump, even if Trump is not on the ballot. <laughs> Well, that's his best bet, right? He can't really tout any of his achievements because they're all hollow and pretend and people know it. So uh, that's his best bet. I'm not surprised that Joe Biden is attached to the White House and his wife is attached. That's kind of the way things are. But uh, I think one thing about Democrats is they fight for the nomination. And I think he'll ha be challenged in the Democratic Party. Republicans are different. Like, they're like the Elks. They give it to someone whose turn it is, like Bob Dole or John McCain. But uh, Democrats, since Kennedy challenged um, uh, Jimmy Carter, they and Bill Clinton challenged the others, they really fight for it. Yeah, and know, I don't think Joe Biden's up to that fight this time. Yeah, because there's been talk about what's the issues with the president. And there's also this. There's issues with the Republican Party. A new Economist YouGov poll. Less than half of Republican voters, 46 percent, gave Kevin McCarthy a favorable rating. Just 32 said, 32 percent said the same about Mitch McConnell. So it's the GOP needs to battle against inflation, recession, the border, collapse and more, but to, can they take it to the Democrat Party? Do, you know, do they, do they have the moxie and the will to do it? You know what I mean, Bill? Well, we'll find out. They didn't have the means that the last two years because they didn't have either branch of Congress. But now they have the House and it's close in the Senate, and we'll see if they can force the Democrats to uh, pursue more moderate policies and, most important, to block the huge spending bills and the same programs but they're coming not, out of Washington. But they're not doing it now. You know, Senator Ron Johnson pointed out $4.4 trillion spent in 2019. Right. Since then, more than $6 trillion, so it popped up 36%. We've added, like, more than France and Spain combined to the U.S. economy, and right. the Americans are feeling it at the pump, feeling it at in, in, the, in the grocery store and more. And then, you know, you, now you've got Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg doing things like <laughs> flying... FAA flights paid for by taxpayers to, you know, 18 times to swing states, and they took a paid vacation in Portugal in September, right at the height of the potential rail strike. It's good to be transportation secretary, isn't it? He had paternity leave when I think Build Back Better was being debated, and during a rail strike, goes to Portugal, but gives a video making it look like he's in Washington working. Um, it tells you, it makes you wonder, do we need a transportation secretary? Yeah, but do we need a shakeup in <laughs> D.C.? Because the policies yes. aren't working. They, they big-footed U.S. energy. They stepped on tens of thousands of jobs in the U.S. energy sector saying, go code. And now we're in a recession when the U.S. energy could pull us out of re uh, recession, just as it did under Obama. Uh, Bill McGurn, thank you so much for joining us. Merry Christmas to you. It's good to see you again. Thanks, Liz. Merry Christmas to you.